Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Connections, the show. Today, we're going to install Windows Vista on an SSD. That's right, we're just going to rip off of the other YouTubers today. Now, uh, in a previous episode of Tech Connections, this Dell uh, Mini right here, uh, the hard drive died. And today, since I wanted to install Windows Vista on it anyway, we're just going to do that now. That that was kind of, that was kind of careless. I'm 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 gonna be honest about that. No, it, it, it'll suck having to tear apart this beauty of a PC. But um, it must be done. Now uh, you may notice this tie right here. So let's unplug the SATA cables. Oh god, this is cracked. That's not very fun. Right, are there screws back here? Hold it in. What what do you think? You think that? Oh no! This thing's screwed. Oh god! A good thing to do would be to get this tie off. Uh, I'm probably never gonna use a tie anyway. So I'm just gonna cut it with some scissors if I can. Everything's all falling over today. I think this is dead anyway, but that's still not good to do. One terabyte just wasted, died, dead like that, just like that. I'm gonna put that over on the side here. Now time for the SSD. Star of the show. Now let's 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 just have it hang out in here. All right, I'll be honest. SATA is significantly more convenient than IDE. I said it. All right. All right let me let me let me bring this closer to you guys. So you, can, so you can see what's going on, like, actually. Ooh, this is fun. I'm just gonna put the thing back on. Um... I may have a slight problem. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but, uh... Now it's in there, it's just fine. Now we can finally put this case right back on. Oh yeah. I this is these probably gonna fry in there, but uh But everything's fine, everything's fine. Uh yep. Let's put it back where it belongs and then get to the thing. Alright, 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 alright. Time. To plug in the peripherals. Today we're using a Dell monitor because I don't want to plug in the gateway. Alright, alright, alright. Remember this purple? We're gonna plug it right into this purple. Today we're using a mouse that doesn't suck. Like this piece of crap here. This sucks. It's awful. I was gonna make a video where I fixed it and I actually recorded a little bit of it. Then I gave up at the part where I had to clean it. Alright, now I'm fairly certain that it's ready. So let's turn the camera towards the computer screen. So it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna say, yeah, system voltage is low. I don't care. All right, let's plug in the Vista USB, which I definitely did not pirate. Is this the motherboard that's the problem? All right, escape to exit setup. Exit. Let me reset it. Boot menu. USB device. Error unknown file system. What? Do I need to burn a stupid CD? Alright, let's turn off the computer. And turn on the computer. This worked with my stupid Linux thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Voltage low. I get it. The computer sucks. Alright, so it looks like, oh my god, that is the worst video of all time. Looks like I'm going to need to slowly burn a Vista DVD. I'll be right back. Alright, uh, there's a little problem with our DVD thing. You see, the, the computer we're trying to use just so happens to have a bad disk drive. So we're going to need to pull it back out of there and swap out disk drives. Uh, why couldn't the USB have worked? This stupid, stupid USB right here. 
refusing to work. Oh, this is X64 edition. That's why it's not... We're gonna need to get a new ROM thing. Why do I have Serpinski Triangle open? Yeah, Windows Vista Business 32-bit. That sounds like a great idea. Windows Vista Business. That looks so good. Let's download the 1.9 gig ISO. And the... You will need to say goodbye to our, to our beautiful USB drive here. Sorry, it must be done. Uh, glad I didn't waste a DVD on that 64 bit garbage. Anyway, the Vista's downloading. Uh, yeah, the Windows. Focus. Why does my screen have a rolling lines? The other one, the other one doesn't. It's just this old NEC one. Whatever. 43 minutes left, huh? It's just only four, only like half an hour left, so uh, I'm gonna stop recording for now. And do my own thing while that installs. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave this computer on the whole time. Because why not? Alright, I, I kind of got carried away doing something else, but we're going to install Windows Vista on the SSD. Alright, so I took a short break, and by a short break I mean a while, because I, I, I didn't want to uh, change the drive. So now let's change the drive. This here is a defective computer that uh, does not work. The power supply is most likely the culprit. And as you'll recognize by the high quality SSD, this is our future Vista PC. So let's um let's get started here. That's it. That's all that's all you need to do. <laughs> really uh built this up in my head more than I should have. Alright. Now this part This part might be a little more difficult because um as you can see you can't really see, but uh, the cable is being blocked by some metal junk. And I don't, e I don't even know if this if this drive works. So this will be pointless. But let's let's get both of them out of the little containers. Oh, this is the dead drive here. So let's try to unplug them now. Oh, this does not sound fun. Ugh. All right, so what I can gather in order to progress, we're gonna need to. Uh, we're gonna need to get these metal doohickeys out of the way. I don't, e I don't even know why they're there. It just prevents uh, trash from happening. So we're gonna need to bend those somehow. But uh, it's not exactly fun using pliers. Right up next to uh, important connectors. This is a stupid design. This is dumb. Uh, it should be much harder. To switch power supplies than to uh, do it a different way though. Yeah, uh, an idea just dawned on me not long ago. We got this uh, SD card, the SATA adapter right here. And uh, I do have a computer. Is, is this worth it? It's just for Windows Vista. Make sure it's fine, but like. You see, if I could unplug this, this would be so much, so much easier. Dell decided that unplugging your optical drive is not a necessary feature. After much more, what? Is this sound? Where's this supposed to go? Maybe, maybe this, maybe this right here. Right. No, this is a. Uh, this is a USB. And maybe this is our problem because this here that's the case detector it's not hooked up to anything but um but on our other model here it's plugged into the one sec i'll stop i'll turn off the camera for now and i'll get back to you all right the, the thing's burned the disc is ready and uh yeah it turns out that uh 
that was the reason why that Dell wasn't working. So hopefully the hard or the optical drive in this one actually works. Does this one have low yeah system battery which is low? I get it. I get it. Can you have my totally legit copy of Windows Vista Business? Uh, I don't know if this one has working fans. That is not a fun sound. You see, I'd continue the setup if the stupid camera's autofocus actually worked. There we go. F1 to continue. Oh yeah! The optical drive works! Well, let's get a good little zoom in on that, on that wonderful Windows is loading files. So, that means that this is the right thing. And it's not as bad as this stupid trash god off the flash drive here. This can just go die. So, uh, well now it's time for the slow crawl of Windows Vista. Even though it is on an SSD, uh, it's on a very concerning sounding computer. Like, the bands, it does kind of feel like it. Well, let me, let me, let me. What, what the hell, what the hell's happening in there? What? Ah. Windows Vista! Yeah! Vista, Vista! Yeah, Windows Vista setup, let's go. Alright. Yeah, install now. This screen has the wobblies too. Interesting. Yeah, Windows Vista business. I have not used Vista or 7 business. Yet. Yep, upgrade. Alright, yeah, custom. Yeah, SSD, that, that's how you know we're using it. Let's, let's format this SSD. Alright, let's, alright. Refresh. It still can't be installed on the disk. Selected disk is with the GPT partition style. Mike, well, what do I do then? So, uh, this is a slight issue. Load, cancel, browse. No, oh. that's probably that's what we were supposed to do there. Unallocated space, new, apply, refresh. What, what what's what's going on? Why why can't I install it on this? Why can't you install it on the thing? It's of the GPT partition style. Well, I don't want to... <laughs> so, GPT partition style. Let me do a quick Google. Just a error. Windows can't be installed. Oh. Let's, let's close out of this. Uh, close. Yes. Cancel. Is that like a shutdown button or am I just going to be here from now on? Looks like we're going to... Oh, nope. And, uh, I didn't even have time. Alright. So I'm going to the flash drive because that's what's causing this. Why are you out of focus? Setup menu. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Setup menu. Yeah. Oh, God! Uh, I, I think this computer's gonna die before we can even get to using it. Oh, God! What's even causing that? Settings general boot sequence. Under boot sequence? I can configure the boot list options for UA for UEFI and apply, and they dis and they appear anyway. What does this even mean? This is crazy. Oh no! Stop it! <laughs> you're you're scaring me, computer. Let's just exclude everything. That sounds like a great idea. Help! It's gonna blow. Oh no! Enter, exit setup, let's save and exit. I'm pretty sure I just messed up the computer by doing that. Oh no.
no boot devices available. Well, let's do F12. Uh, Alright, F2 for setup utility then. Oh no. Looks like I need. Oh god. Boot sequence. It save changes. I need a different. I need a different tutorial here. That's not even what it is. This guy has a latitude trash. <laughs> this is trash garbage right here. There's no tutorials. It appears. So I'm just gonna need to look at the whole the whole BIOS. So no drivers found. I just I don't care about your stupid feedback, though. You can't do Control F on a PDF. Why can't I find anything? <laughs> Hold it together while I spend a long time googling stuff. All right, <laughs> so I might just have to reformat this trash on on a di on a different computer. So uh, yeah. and and put this stupid computer out of misery by just powering it down. Back into the computer to get the SSD out of the computer and to format it on Windows 7. Now let me just grab my trash. This is, this is a PETA trash. This isn't the right trash, this is PETA. So I need to grab different, different trash. Yeah, SATA, SATA, yeah. Let's go, now it's MBR, let's go. MBR, MBR. There we go. Good as new. And by good as new, I mean about to die. Yeah. Come on, Dell logo, let's go. Yep, I got not enough trash. Now let's start at the computer. Come on, where's my Windows loading files? Come on, buddy, you can do it. You can hold out just a little bit longer. Yeah. All right, so after this is done, I'm probably gonna install Windows Vista on an SD card. I just want Windows Vista business to be installed on an SSD. Come on, man, you can do it. Yeah, we, uh, we got cursor action. All right, all right, all right, next, install. <laughs> is it just me or does it kind of smell like burning in here? Anyway, let's let's do this quickly. Custom. Yeah, yeah, we can do it. Yeah, we are at the screen where it copies things. All right. So um, once once this screen is done, once it's all installed, we can do a great test using this copy of The Sims 2. The best Sims games ever. It's it's a really good copy of the game. Now, uh, reputation gameplay. Build your rep as you live, work, and play in the big. C this is city living. This isn't even a Sims game. I want to read the blurb for The Sims 2. Maybe that's on the inside. Oh yeah. Oh no. It's just it's just the inside the cover. And my disc, which is this bonus disc. I want to read. Is the SSD bad or is it just me? Whatever, whatever, it's fine. You know what? Let's screw reading this in too. We're gonna read a much better game blurb. Timescape. Journey to Pompeii. My favorite game ever. Alright. Gonna kneel for this one because it's it's gonna be a lot of reading. Right. Focus. A storyline rich with adventure, humor, and suspense. Enjoy full 360 degrees panoramic viewing and non-linear gameplay. In this intense story-driven adventure, play the role of Adrian Blake and travel into the past to the city of Pompeii, 79 AD. Solve many puzzles and challenges while avoiding dangerous foes. Complete numerous side quests to accomplish your purpose. Immerse yourself in the beauty and the tragedy of a society rich with culture and ritual. Go back in time before it's too late. Requires System 7.5 Macintosh, uh, Pentium, Windows 95, 
98. Next up, Windows 98 computer. That that's another. Yeah, zero percent. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna turn off the cam. I do some other things real quick and see if this actually installs. All right, so. It's 98%, 99%, and the features in completing takes like no time at all, so. Yeah, installing features is done, installing updates is going to be fast. That or it's just going to cancel, since I am not going to plug this into the internet right now. So I love how wobbly the, the, the LCD is. Now, now it's doing something else. Oh, yeah. Restarting, yeah, restart now. Just give that, just give that optical drive a break. All right, we have a blinking command line. Yeah, yeah, pressing a key. Done this whole thing before. This is almost exactly like the Windows 7 installer. Windows Vista, scroll bar, just like Windows XP, but without a logo. Are we gonna get tar? Yeah, we have a Windows Vista logo, but, um, it's kind of compressed. Oh, maybe this is because it's Windows Vista Business. I'm, I'm hoping that it at least has Aero Glass, though, because that's what I really want. Because this is, like, Windows Vista has, like, an early, less good-looking version of Aero Glass. Is that the computer that's... I thought that was a train horn. Anyway, once this installation's complete, I will be happy because, um, you know. <laughs> it's gonna blow! What's even happening? The optical drive isn't getting used. Let me just. I would be concerned for my life if I was just in a college black screen. Are we gonna get a Dell logo? Yeah. That's gonna tell us about the voltage. Yeah. Fun. Hope it doesn't take this long to boot up every time I want to use Vista. Yeah, press any key. Can we get our setup thing? Can we get our little, yeah, scroll bar down at the bottom there? With these horrific sounds of computer death. Is it restarting again? Why? No, no, no. Oh, God! Oh, we have native resolution! Alright, alright, type username. Uh, anonymous. Let's get, get out of the way, cables. Anonymous for 2012. Password, no password, and also, uh, yeah, let's, let's have it be the flower thing. Anonymous pet PC, yes. Uh, ask me later. Yes, US and Canada, that's where I am. Thank you, thank you more for not dying while I'm trying to install you. Now, where is my Vista desktop background? The Getting it done just got more fun. Right, yeah, let, let's read these. Fans are revving up again. And this one's just gonna stay up forever, even though it's the shortest one. Gaming community. Yeah, maybe I should move this other monitor out of the way so I can show you it all. It's almost done. Power to find everything, All right. But uh as you can see, we're getting we're getting kinda close to the end. Now I'm just gonna sit over here. Come on, this little bar down here just needs to quickly speed run to the end before this computer explodes. You know, maybe this is why, uh 
nobody uses the Dell GX620s that I know of because they they all have something wrong and their optical drives are all made with dirt. All right, I have to admit, I do think that Windows Vista's folder icons are pretty cool. Oh yeah, Windows Vista. Preparing desktop. Oh yeah, Windows Vista business, that's what I'm talking about. We're big businessmen using our business Windows Vista for business. Oh yeah, we even have Aero Glass. This is what I'm talking about, and it's pre-activated, because, uh, don't ask. Anyway. Yeah, Pentium D. <laughs> Best Pentium. Two gigs of RAM. Uh, yep, anonymous pet PC. Oh no, you're telling me that audio's not gonna work. Uh, I don't think I have any... Let me, let me go, go get some spare headphones. And I plugged in some earbuds, and it's still saying no, no audio devices. That's what it sounds like. Not a lot. Uh, playback devices, no audio. Let's unplug them and plug them back in. Yeah, not connected. Any whatever. Yeah, these won't work. Whatever. Uh, audio was not the main thing here. Now let's. Uh... Uh, yeah, you can. You can kind of see here. Um, the, the arrow glass is much different than Windows 7, if you are familiar with Windows 7, like I am. Anyway, let's let's play Journey to Pompeii. It might kill the disk drives for it, but whatever. Now, right here, I have... The Sims 2 Special DVD Edition! And now we're gonna install it on that computer! Yeah, it's because you refuse to turn off, whatever. I think I just broke my Sims 2 disc. Anyway. Yeah, Windows Vista Business, welcome. And the fans are already revving up so you know what your what computer you're using. Alright. Come on, hold it together. At least long enough for me to copy Sims 2. Yeah, Sims 2 action! And does autoplay exist on Vista? It exists on 7. Are you gonna read the thing? Gonna do the thing. The b -b -b folders. Oh. oh, I saw the CD logo. Uh, computer. Yeah, run set.exe. Publish not specified. It's a uh, EA Games. Challenge everything. Allow. I hear that shows up a lot on Windows Vista. Yeah, Sims 2. Sims 2. Sims 2. Next. Oh no! Alright, I, I put in the code. I don't see if it... Yeah, typical user, that's me. Oh no! I don't know if I have that space, it's not like it's a 500 gig... S register later, I don't want stupid cheat codes. I can Google that. Alright, grow your sims. Use your memory. To find matching place pieces. All right. How oh, high will I score? All right. Mail. That's me. Do do do. Do do do. Do do do. Do do do. Yeah, yeah. No. Oh, that's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they were people. 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 What did he think he was designing to up? <laughs> it's 23% done by the way. Alright. Maxis, obviously Jeff Braun. Now, Windows Vista has a unique version of Paint, by unique I mean it's XP's version, both worse colors and also like reskinned. Alright, so let's draw. Is there a brush? Yeah, here it is. The brush has a different icon. Uh, so let's make some art right here. Now the colors are slightly off colors, they're not actually 
the colors are like this green like that's that's like you can tell just from looking at that at least in person that that's MS paint green actually now let me test out the internet on this thing because I know how much everyone loves it when I plug in an unsupported operating system into the internet thread the cable behind the thing I plugged in the ethernet cable and now it's showing that I have internet I can't see it there it is, the internet symbol. So let's go to my, my website, because that's just designed using basic HTML. And like, old Internet Explorer could, could work with it. Yeah, thank you for choosing Internet Explorer 7. Oh no, why did it mess it up? Ha ah. ha! Yeah, it works! That's my website in Windows Vista. I haven't really updated it recently, and there's lots of trash posts. But here's something that's interesting. Let me zoom in. On Windows Vista... On Windows Vista Internet Explorer, uh, when you press the middle click, it gets big. It's large. And it, it looks really stupid. So I, so I thought that... I thought that'd be interesting to everyone. Anyway, that's, that's enough of my my really great website and the documents folder I guess oh uh, yeah I'm an adult <laughs> if I score higher do I get grandpa all right I have food now and uh, it looks like it's done so let's click the sims 2 button and right, before we launch I have something important to do install the software come on all right let's just delete this and everything in this drive right here Control A, drag into here. There we go. Haha. <laughs> hmm. Compatibility issues. I don't care. Run. No, the Windows XP is probably more suited for The Sims 2, which is why I did it. I don't know if I recorded it though. Unspecified error. Well, I guess that ends this video. I hope you enjoyed this Tech Connections uh, video. I hope you enjoyed me installing Windows Vista with several hiccups along the way, such as the optical drive being broken, the USB thing not working, and also the... it's just... it's just trash. Good... goodbye.